today I'm going to be telling you about the Robin Omnibus. No, I'm not. <laughs> the death of Superman. Spoiler. <laughs> death of Superman. But it also has uh, the return. Death and return. Double spoiler. This is uh, a heavy, heavy beast. Let's take it over here. 3.9 kilograms. That's real heavy. If you were born in the 80s, you may remember reading this. The reason I'm picking it is nostalgia because my first ever graphic novel was The Death of Superman. I think I was like nine or 10 years old. Killing off Superman at the time was pretty crazy. Essentially, it was a marketing stunt, somewhat similar to um, Batman Nightfall, where his uh, back is broken. But I kind of like it because this was back in the day where you got excited by these sorts of things. Superman was dying and now comic book characters and films they kill off everyone, they come back 700 times. What you're getting inside is the death of Superman um, and then he returns. Uh, as it says here, it's uh, an epic event that shocked a nation and changed Superman forever. In fact, I don't think he ever really recovered, to be honest. It's very 90s. I think it's a bit like re-watching an old Quentin Tarantino film or listening to an old metal album. The shock isn't quite there anymore. I love this Superman and then the uh, logo with the blood coming off it and then the death and return of Superman Omnibus. DC Omnibuses in general aren't as, quite as good as Marvel's, but this kicks ass. It's minimalistic. This is a newer printing actually, and I think the older printing had a bit more going on. But look, it's like Superman and even the wood here is going over the logo. I don't know if that's good design-wise, but it's crazy. Massive book. It's got a lot of content in there. If you like Superman and you like DC, this is definitely one of the better ways to read it.